watching the video back yesterday I realised I didn't explain it very clearly so I thought we'd have another go now here's the faulty part that is the ionisation probe which recognises the flame is lit and that's the faulty part that's the igniter that causes a spark to ignite the flame and if you see the probe they're in very good condition so you know I think I was a little bit unlucky as you can see the wires just plug on so what I'm going to do is reintroduce the fault by taking the wire off the probe now I've set the centre leading on so if you turn the boiler on it will come on three times four times sorry and then it, the fault will appear now as I said yesterday the same fault also shows if the water from the condensated water is blocked at all if any of the water passages are blocked it will do that now when I actually rang Worcester Bosch and they said well we'll send an engineer out for 235 pounds you know well I can't do that well I said the only thing you can do is clear out the condensate trap which is that now I can't get much closer than that I don't think because the camera goes out of focus but I don't know if you can see it it should be able to see quite clearly it's uh, it's simply like the U-bend on your sink you know that's all that is and there is just one small 10mm self tapper to take out and then oh, not a lot of room here is there under there it just pushes in with a rubber o-ring so take it off and clean it for service make sure the o-rings in good condition otherwise replace it now the other thing is there is a pipe that goes to the siphon now without taking it off it should be quite clear immediately if it is that or not that's blocked because the siphon won't fill and as I said yesterday the other thing is the drain to the siphon which is there turn the light on it look if that freezes up and gets blocked that also causes the same fault so it's not the simplest it's a common very common fault but it's got two causes which uh, well make your own mind up so that's what you have to do take that off and clear it out make sure all you pass you walk past it there's a pipe there if you see I'm showing me light on it again look that rubber pipe there let me put my camera there now you can see it I think that one there that needs to make sure it's clear but there we are right it's come on and there is the fault see now to check this fault what you need to do I've got to put my torch down now light down now to check this fault on this boiler what you do is go into service mode 1 so you hold the spanner button down and it comes up with that then you turn the central heating control until it reads 3.3 now wait a few seconds and that will come up with naught so if it's naught or one it means the probe's faulty well we know the probe's faulty because I've taken the wire off so now I'll replace the wire and we'll reset it everything's gone off and the boiler will light up and it will stay on and as I said now on this um, on the bit I've replaced there is a window so you can actually see the burner you can see the flame but there isn't on the new one so you have to go on the light and look the lights on see so that means it's burning properly so it will work perfectly now so the reason it goes slowly to start with is because the um, the boiler 
it's filling up, see? It's purging the air out. Right, so that's that. Now, if we go to the same one again, it's on 3-3 three, three still because I haven't moved the control. Now, can you see it's on number 3 where it should be? So there's your fault. Right? That's it. So we turn that out, turn the control back again to where it should be, and that's it. It's working perfectly. So I hope that's cleared it up a bit. So just to finish off, make sure that your water passages from the condensed water are clear. And that's the condensate trap, the pipe work, the siphon, and the outlet from the siphon right to the outside. Make sure that's clear. If that's all good, check that the flue is clear and you can do that very easily. There is an inspection hole for a CO probe. And if you take that off you can see the flue is clear. That's a simple job that anyone can do, even Worcester Bosch say you can do it. And you know how secretive the gas people are. So that's that. If that's all in order, check your iozination current and that will tell you if the probe's faulty. I hope this clears it up and it may help someone. Oh, one last thing, because this camera should focus on the book better than the Vader. I want to do it in HD, so we're using this one. I think you can see that checking the ionization current. I'll get blooming right in a minute, I don't know. Service function 33, and that's what we did. Right, it does tell you in the book, but as I say, it's not connected at all with anything. You see, but it does say if the display shows not one, the electro assembly. You see, and then it says 32, figure one, page six. You see what I mean? It's all over the place. Must be cleaned or replaced. So, so the information is there. It's just not laid out in any form or manner. Hope that helps. Bye.